course, do I want, like, you know, success and nice things and all that good stuff, of course, you know? But at the same time, you know, that's not the motivation. I, I kind of spoke into, an exist in, in, into existence, actually, because I, I was coming off uh, Chronicle, and, um, and um, I, I, I talked with my agent at the time, and I told him, I said, look, I just want to do an independent film. I want to just, just find something for me to, like, to show I can, I can go. You know what I mean? I, I can go with the best of them. Because in my head, you know, you got to have a confidence that you, you know, that you can, you, you know, you know, I was, you know, 25. You know, I was ready to, mm -hmm. I was ready to, to, to show, you know, you start to smell yourself. You know, I'm working out a little bit. You know, I'm like, okay, I'm ready to kind of like, you know, get in my big boy pants and show mm -hmm. that I, I can, I can, I can uh, care, care, try to carry a film. And, um, you know, actors, you like say, we go on this journey from like, you know, roll to roll and trying to find these moments where you can like make something out of it and make it memorable and make it something that's going to get you your next job. Mm -hmm. And um, <clears throat> when the script kind of came along, it was like, it was perfect. What I wanted to do in my life and my career at the time, and what Ryan wanted to do in his life and in his career at the time, just kind of seemed to like mesh and kind of fall into place. Trick yourself into believing you're doing what you're supposed to do. Like you almost have to like, you know, you know, having faith in yourself and having hope, you know, having faith, you know, that you're doing what you're supposed to be doing is one thing, but you got to believe that this is your destiny and this is what you're supposed to be doing in life, you know, if you really want it, you know? and. Um, yeah, that's what I had to do. I told myself at a young age that I was gonna like sacrifice. I used to run myself into the ground to like pure exhaustion just because then I would feel like, oh, I deserve it. That's probably why I go so hard in the gym, go so hard in life. I wanna feel the hardships of it. How hard was it though to like to dedicate your your life to that? And I mean, it's not like oh, I'm going to work today. This is a this is a commitment. It, it was uh, I guess for this one, with all the pieces you know to the puzzle on the table, with like you know teaming up with Ryan again, you know working with Sylvester Stallone, taking on this franchise, you know the, to 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 have the legacy of Rocky kind of mm -hmm. like just you know on my shoulder a little bit, you yeah, know what I'm yeah. saying? And, and and the essence of time, you know, I knew about this project about two, two and a half, three years ago, so I started training about a year and a half out from we actually, from actually, did you do it like secretly? started filming, huh? Did you secretly. do it secretly did, so when you were like did. started training. So when I started training, I was already halfway there. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> I was already halfway there, so about a year and a half of like, like literally, you know, brown rice, grilled chicken, broccoli, a gallon and a half of water a day, mm -hmm. and working out two to three times a day, six days a week for about a year and a half, and wow. then your body will change. It, wow. it, will, it, will, it will definitely change. For me, you know, I always enjoy reverse engineering things. I always like seeing something like, all right, I know where I want to go. How do I get there? You know, what's, what's the creative, what, it was fun for me to find ways to get the things that I wanted. Yeah, like, um, my thing is doing homework. That's always been my thing. If I, if, I, if I work harder than anybody else, I might not be the most talented guy, but I feel if I work harder than anybody else, they can't, you know what I'm saying? They can't, they can't take that away from me. Mm -hmm. um, that's something, that's one thing I can control. I left, I left it all in the room. I'm walking out, hands clean. Let me just move on to the next thing. It's the only way I can kind of disconnect myself from the audition, from the role, and, and just forget about it and move on. You still do that now? Yeah, for sure. Although you probably don't have to audition, audition much anymore now. I'm, I'm going to audition a, a little less, but, <laughs> but I don't mind going to like hunt for my food. And I know it was, it was one point in time where I really hated it, and then I started to become more confident, and I guess the small successes built up your confidence. And now then you don't really mind going to auditions anymore. It's just like, I'll go in and read. I, I think I always want to constantly evolve. You know, I always want to constantly grow. I never want to get to a point where I feel like I got it figured out. You know, like I always want to like kind of like push myself to be better, you know, and, and do and do greater things um, no matter what it is. Um, do you have aspirations that are more detailed or are you kind of just wanting to do good? No, nah, I mean, you know, I mean, I want to be the best. I'm a competitor. You know, I, I like to compete, you know, like growing up with, you know, <laughs> with the name Michael Jordan, you know, I've always had a certain <laughs> pressure pressure on on myself, and and always having to kind of like, you know, prove people wrong, and 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 and, uh, and I just kind of kind of uh, kind of like put a, an instant chip on my shoulder of, of wanting to just to be great, you know, and do great things. Yeah, I mean, honestly, he's the reason why you know I, I have the the self confidence to go out there and do it. To be perfectly honest, um, just like representation is so important. You know, on screen, I yeah. think behind the camera also to see somebody my age that's you know taking the responsibility of you know however hundreds of millions of dollars this project is, 
you know, it, it's it's inspiring. It's let me know that I can do that as well. And then he also, you know, pushed me and told me there's never a perfect time. So just like suck it up and just, just go ahead and do it. You nice. know, you know what you're doing. So just to hear that, hearing that from him, definitely pushed me to wanna to wanna get get behind the camera a lot quicker. And I think as a, as a human, sometimes you feel like you always gotta wait for the right time. What makes sense to you to actually start executing, to actually start stop making excuses, to doing the things that you always really want to do. And I'm wow. starting to find myself. You know, and I'm guilty of that. Hmm. And I'm starting to find myself now being like, nah, there is no right time to do anything. You just gotta start doing. It's, it's easy to see the good stuff when it's successful, when it, when it happens the right way, you mm -hmm. know, like the, the, the reward. But very rarely people like really understand like the lows, you know, like the, how lonely this industry is too, you know, how much you spend, time you spend by yourself. You know what I mean, and and and, and alone, and and you know when and when things get bad, it's it's you know it's it's it could be a, a it could be a lonely place, man. And um, you got to be a certain type of person, I think, to kind of handle that. Yeah. I was on notable shows mm -hmm. at the time that people knew who I was. Or like, oh, that's the guy. I mean, did we go to school together? Or I mean, yeah, you look familiar. Like, who's that? Oh, yeah, that's the guy from The Wire or whatever. But that type of uh, Notability, you know, doesn't really translate in the financial stability. <laughs> so, what did kinda, you do? Ah, oh, man. I mean, go for broke. Yeah. I mean, you know, I was blessed enough to kind of like after I got each job, you know, that whatever that check was would last me enough to, mm -hmm. you know, where I would doubt and hope and get nervous and be like, oh man, I got to move back to Jersey and then I will book something. Mm. It would keep me there for a little bit longer. Like right when I was getting ready to give up, it was always something that kept me there for mm. a little bit longer. So yeah, man, it, it was it was tough, but in my head it was like, what, like I, I'm doing what I'm supposed to be doing. Yeah. Um, it was like I was at the end of my rope again and I remember giving my, my, my last check of savings ever. You know, I was on like a 7-Eleven diet for like the last six months, which was like, <laughs> Arizona iced teas, 99 cents, Slurpees, and like, and like the pizzas that are already ready. Like me and my, my best friend from Chicago, we lived out here. That was our diet for like months. It's not just acting, you know, it's, you know what goes into becoming an actor. Um, people see the end result. They see the lights, they see the, you know, the premieres, they see the movies. They don't see the time that you put in by yourself. They don't see the, the lonely journey. They don't see the auditions that you go in where you hear, you know, no, you're not this, you're not that. You don't, they don't see the moments where you're sleeping in your car. They don't see the moments where, you know, you gotta go to 7-Eleven and, you know what I'm saying, you know, and, you know, you know, dollar item this, dollar item that, you know what I'm saying, you don't, you don't, you know, when you gotta go into a gas station, swipe your car, get gas, and then hurry up and go inside a convenience store and try to get, you know, some chips and, you know, a frozen pizza or whatever before it says decline, because, you know, you ain't got that much money in your account. <laughs> yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, a lot, like they don't see those moments. Yeah. They don't see the, you know, the moments you stay up all night, man, you know, studying these lines, rehearsing, you know, and then you go into an audition and you don't get it again and 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 again, but somehow you still have faith and believe that you're doing what you're supposed to be doing. So it's like, you know, and then, and then when you do get successful, you know, you do get some success, it's a... Now you're getting ridiculed and judged, you know, by everybody. Most of the time, your own people, you know, they want to cannibalize you as much as possible. Oh, you're not this, you're not that, you're not this, you're not that, you're not doing this, you're not doing that. You know, um, it's tough, you know, it's tough, but, you know, for the same people that you're trying to uplift and you're trying to do things for, and also help people, man. I'm, I'm really big in, in, in the next generation. I feel like that's the, that's, the, that's the only way it's gonna get better moving forward is if, you know, um, you gotta lead this world in a better place than it was when you came in. You know, I'm born in 87, dash, question mark. I don't know when I'm gone, you know what I'm saying? But I wanna work on my dash, you know what I'm saying? I wanna work on that, that time that I'm here. And, and it's, um, and uh, fuck, I can make it easier for the next round of filmmakers and the next round of actors coming up, you know, that, that and, and, I mean, then I then, then I'll be, I'm, I'm content with going out on that. You, because you said your father taught you what it was to be a man. What does it mean to you now? Making strong, strong, making choices and standing behind them. Making smart choices, sacrificing things you know that are for the second, sacrificing yourself for things that are bigger than you. Mm. You know, mm. doing the right thing, even when nobody's looking. I'm excited at the opportunities. You know what I'm saying? Nothing's guaranteed, nothing's set in stone, but just the opportunity to be able to like, you know, do do things that I mean, you don't one of my biggest things is like being forgotten. 
you know, especially after you're gone, you know, when you're not here no more, you know, it's like, like life moves on, everybody moves on, you want to leave something behind that's like going to be around forever, you know, something that's like, you know, you want to leave a legacy, you know, whether it's, um, you know, and, and do things to help the next, like I said, I really want to really open up the doors for like, you know, young filmmakers and, um, and uh, just people in general. How do you push past the not wanting to do something? You remember why you're doing it, why you're working hard, what's at stake. For me, it's, you know, my family. All the dreams that I have in my head that I want to, you know, see manifest. I want to leave a mark on this world. I want to do things that that's going to last longer than my physical body will.